All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Subnautica. I'm Captain Beefy, and I'm here with the Game Vault. We are waiting for the Aurora to touch down, which is going to happen in just over a minute and a half. Or, I'm sorry, the Sunbeam. This is where it's supposed to land. I gave myself a little bit of clearance here, so we're keeping an eye out for it, and um, we're waiting to be rescued. This should hopefully be the final episode of the uh, series, so that's why I kind of cut it off, that way we can get rescued and um, have plenty of time for whatever cutscenes are at the end and and the credits and all that, so that's cool. I mean, it, it, you know, it seems like a fairly short game, we're only, what, 18 episodes in, roughly, and there's a lot we feel like we didn't do, um, a lot we didn't build, we didn't get to use the prawn suit at all you know i mean we got to fart around on it a little bit but really that was it it's just a little bit of playing so um kind of disappointing that it ends as quickly but what is that oh crap the building is uh Building's moving. Look at that. Oh. That doesn't look like a building anymore. <coughs> that looks. Yeah. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held up in there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Where are you guys? Is that a building down there? What do you mean you're camping? Oh, there they are. Cool. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions everywhere. Touching down in ten. Far enough away. Nine. Eight. It's coming from the building. What? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Oh. That's bad. Damn, that's very bad. Thanks a lot, building. Building's a freaking cannon. What a dick move. I just wanted to get off this planet and go home, guys. Come on, man. Well, looks like plans have changed a little bit, doesn't it? Looks like plans have changed a lot. Okay, so we are not getting rescued today. In case y'all haven't figured that out yet. But I remember we could get into this building, so let's go over there and... Let's get inside and see what's going on. I'm very curious about this building now. Or should I say gun, because it's a big bloody gun. Um, where was the entrance down here? Yeah, we got a purple tab, but we got two here, so... Let's put one here. Alright, cool. Scans indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database performing structural analysis. Alright, you do that, because yeah, it is a pretty wild looking building. The construction of it 
Like I said, it looks metal, but it also looks stone. It's a very interesting uh, setup, and well, this is obviously something we want to look at. Unknown language, attempting translation. building. Is that a door? Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Oh, remember we needed an ion cube earlier? Now we have one. on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. Okay, there's another ion cube. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Control descent, wow. Force field control, okay. Oh, here's where we came in with our little uh, sea moth earlier. Yep, this is it, cool. Well, I'm glad we didn't start looking around because we would have maybe ruin this part a little bit. I don't know who built this freaking place, but I mean, it's just a bunch of, well, I mean, it's alien technology, so I don't know what the purpose is of everything, but it certainly seems like a lot of wasted space, just big, it's kind of archway, some just big rooms with no apparent purpose. Although this looks important. So I think we can go up over here. Yeah. So let's see what we got up over here. Okay, nothing here. Is this another tablet? Oh, let's pick it up. Cool. I'm guessing there's going to be enough of those laying around to get us where we need to go. What is that? Can you scan it? Alien device. A doomsday device? A broken doomsday device. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that, huh? The facility's control room lies beyond this doorway. Okay. Well, that's obviously the destination, so let's take a look around. find anything of any use or interest. Nothing on this side. This feels underutilized, this building. I feel like they could have put uh, a lot more interesting stuff in here, but, you know, I, I guess it's the way this game is designed. It's where we came in from, right? 
Um, yeah, based off the design of the game and all that, it's not that kind of game that encourages a lot of combat and puzzles and all that kind of thing. This is more just survive, figure it out, and get off the planet type thing. So... a message. Translation reads, warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Well, that sucks. So we do have this bacterial infection, and we are now trapped on the planet due to that. Great. Why is every game I've played so far in this chat? I mean, granted, it's only two. Why do they each involve some kind of big infection of some sort? The first one being a virus that turned humanity into zombies, and this one, some kind of bacterial infection that is so bad. Oh, yeah, this is the elevator. Um, that it requires me to. It requires a doomsday device on the planet to prevent it from escaping, and it has this huge building slash gun that's dedicated to destroying any ship that tries to land. So this is, uh, so now we got a mystery. But we do have three ion cubes, so that's cool. And we got one more purple tablet. And if you remember correctly, we could go into that cave and something was asking for an ion cube, that one device that looked like a big gate or something. So we're going to go back in there and see what we can find. still have an extra purple tablet in case we need to get into a doorway. We did check out there. There was nothing we could do out there. So now we make our trek over here. Hey, Aurora. All my old crewmates are gone. Remember correctly, the uh, yeah. He's dead. The um, thing was down lower. The device. So we're gonna make our way downward.
All right, maybe we have to go up to go down, so let's try that. Those things are just annoying at this point. They're not a threat. By any means of the imagination. Uh, maybe if 10 of them came at you, you'd take a little damage, but really what they do is so minimal that uh, they're basically just an annoyance at this point. Yeah, we'll take a diamond. Definitely walking out of here with. Wow, okay. Oh, I forgot about all that. Alright, let's just get it up. Yeah, so much lithium. Holy crap. There's a place to come early in the game when uh, you need to farm lithium and gold and diamonds. You won't have to go deep into that jelly shroom cave. You just come here, fight off a few of these little creatures. And yeah, like I said, in the beginning you don't have this protective suit on, so it's not gonna so you will take some damage from these guys, but it's not gonna be nearly the risk of the, you know, it, it's offset by the risk. You won't have the risk of drowning or those crab snakes down there. This is way more chill. All right, let's continue. Definitely getting closer. And we're definitely running out of uh, room in our inventory again. <gasps> stop gathering for now. There's just so much. And yeah, I feel like we're going the right way now. Maybe not. Look at all that. Jeez. I mean, we wish I had a bigger inventory. Just everywhere in here. We'll wander around here for hours. Is another purple tablet. Okay. What's this? 
this the way to go? I feel like we've been here like seven times. say a little lost. So we're going to have to go against the green here, I guess, and go a direction that we normally wouldn't consider because... stuff in here. I'm just wandering around randomly now at this point. Is this the same FM place? Let's do this. We're gonna go unload real quick. Just because I'm we're just we're walking by a ton of resources and we may as well gather them. I mean at this point I don't know what we're gonna we'll need to, to continue. All systems on the line. and the purple tablet because we found use for purple tablets here and I remember seeing that we needed an ion cube for something cutter or the repair tool, but we'll keep them for now. That's a just-in-case type thing right there. Yeah, big-ass hunk of silver. So 
So here's a way into the system. It just leads to water, and this is a dead end. dead ends all around. Is this the way we came in? I think it is. Yeah. Hmm. So, is there a way through the water? Let's take a look in here and see if there's a pathway through the water. I'm trying to remember how we got to it, and I just cannot do that at this time. It's all pretty crappy in here. All right. All right, so we're going to get back outside again. There's like a... Is that power running the right there? Maybe it's right here to the right of me? Maybe I need to follow these things? That might be the way to go. Okay. Yeah, look, there's some power running here, so... Yep. another one there. So I'm going to guess these things are some kind of marker that will lead me. Yes, and here we are in the right direction. Okay. So it wasn't nearly as complex as it seemed. Let's insert the cube and see what happens. trip. That's cool. We are severely far away from our ship now, though. Wow. Okay. We may be on the other uh, island. Let's find our way out of here. If 
that's the case, cool, we can, uh, yep, there it is, we're on that floating island now. Alright, so that's interesting. Um, I guess we can pick some of these, right? Jaffa cup? Oh, no. change of events. Get a grub basket, why not? So I think we did everything we can on this island. So, we'll just take a look. Yeah, there's those uh, ruins where we found uh, a bunch of stuff. Yep, and those ruins down there. We found some more stuff. This is where we found, like, the indoor and outdoor planters. Um, I think there was an observatory here. There's definitely a multi-purpose room, but I believe we found that elsewhere already. But this is one of the locations to get it. I think there was a... There was also a desk and a couple other little things. Maybe a bulkhead. Yep, here's our gate. So hopefully this gate takes us right back and doesn't like take us somewhere else. That would be kind of silly. Looks like it's still powered up. I don't see a spot for an ion cube or anything. All right. Well, let's give it a shot. Pronsu was 1300 away, but we don't have our Pronsu here, so dirt. Alright, well, let's gather. We got a little bit of room. Let's gather up some goodies and get back to our Cyclops. Maybe we'll have another radio message or something waiting for us. all this stuff but you know what I always say with stuff like this in these games it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it so we'll gather it up and we will take it back to the ship and load it up it's not like it's gonna hurt anything we 
just hopefully not. That one looks a little weird. Alright, so we're outside here. Yep, there's the sea moth. Okay. Come here, gold. And we got one more. Let's take it. Alright, another gold. <gasps> Ouch, that hurt. But only a little. And that's gonna hurt a lot. Ow. But not that bad. Okay. Kind of like the solar charger on the sea moth. It's uh, it does save a lot of aggravation. I'll tell you that. Now, one thing we're going to want to do out here, seeing as how a ship was destroyed, I wonder if. some wreckage down there with some new blueprints. Not to be ghoulish or anything because, you know, people die, but I think it's worth a look, right? while we're at it. And that is okay. Yep, we picked up our sea moth, so that's good. Let's power up our devices here, make sure that they're good to go. I think we had an empty one downstairs too, let's check that out real quick.
Okay. Back upstairs, and this I think is all the water and all that crap, right? So this one, yeah, this is all the stuff stuff. I can't go in there, but all that can. So, after a very successful adventure, we are now going to make our way home. And we're going to regroup at the base, take a look at... Uh, <clears throat> Maybe we'll have some kind of uh, call by then on the radio, another rescuer or something. I don't know. Um, we're just going to kind of take stock on uh, what we've got and all that. We'll come back here eventually and explore the area. We kind of should do that now, but I'm anxious to just get home um, and get these plants done and dealt with and up the ship a little bit, move uh, some of these materials onto the actual base, that sort of thing. We can definitely build some more bulkheads, which will be nice. Um, a few more bulkheads, and then that base is set. No matter what we do to it, pretty much we'll be able to uh, maintain our structural integrity, so that's great. adventure that was so now we can successfully gate from one island to the other <clears throat> if need be <clears throat> and that's kind of cool and also we found an amazing source for lithium gold and diamond with all those shale rocks and lithium outcroppings I think there were there wasn't any magnetite, though, I don't believe, right? Yeah, no magnetite, but we've got quite a bit of that stuff on us already, so it doesn't matter. underwater and 
put something for on the land, so that's cool. That's okay, we'll grab that stuff. Silver though, and here's some lithium. That's great. Okay. Oops. Oh yeah, we want to go get our. Uh... sure what purpose those serve, but we've got them.
So yeah, those just hold one tiny little thing. Okay. All this stuff's growing. Cool. These other seeds we will chuck in the garbage can. Head back outside and look at this. Yeah, look at that. Everything's growing now. How sweet is that? So this one, we're just going to tear all these out and get rid of them. Alright, great. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of Subnautica. Once again, I am Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. And hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget also to leave a like on the video. And to uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this series overall. I do appreciate the feedback. And share us on social media. Any on and all exposure is a huge help. And will help this channel grow. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Stay dry.